Okay, so people were jumping at the bit to get into Area 51. I'm going to let you know we have been under observation our entire existence. And here's why I'm going to affirm this. Whether you believe in a Big Bang theory where the swimmer meets the egg and a star is born, and that begins a brand new life, a brand new universe, for gazing the one we presently get to enjoy. While we're supposed to be working together, we have to utilize the fact that through our own intelligence, we have scientifically justified a very great deal of our existence. We would say that there's a, a show like The 100, like that was what got placed in each Garden of Eden. Melanin did not mingle. Melanin explored. White explored. You know what I'm saying? Melanin got to travel. White people helped people with melanin be able to travel. If you were to look at Central and South America's complexion compared to those of the Middle East, their DNA is going to break down to be very different, but still have that trait. So it would not matter what fleshy person you put down on the planet, the melanin ratio, okay, is what we would be able to historically see as divided prior to exploration that was documented. Now, this constant observation thing. When placed on the planet, and because of natural curiosity, when they say that it killed the cat, we could have been a very small and docile species on the planet. But because of free will and human nature, we've traveled and explored and procreated, fornicated when people are not behaving themselves in parts of the area that we all have to live and share together. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Some people be like, oh, well, that, you know, that Chinese scientist and that Korean scientist. They have no effect whatsoever on, you know, what we got going on here in America. Aha, but they do. Those scientists work with another intricate system to do things to minimize the amount of people that get sick and die. There's a huge difference if we have a war or something that our, our psychology creates an imbalance in on our planet, okay? But physically, physically... I don't care what country you're from. Please tell me you're washing your hands. Please tell me that if you get sick, you are telling somebody that's coming into the area where you got sick at to prevent someone else from getting sick. Some people in their mind might think that being sick gets you catered to. Okay? And it does. Thank you so much. Each and every one of you acts of kindness people out there who do those things okay you like that quality time with someone but the fact is that no one likes being sick no one likes being in pain if, if people didn't have emotional sickness mental illness or physical ailments there'd be no use whatsoever for no offense to companies like Pfizer and all of you big big farm peoples out there but if we had already raised our humans to put hygiene and cleanliness and and certain types of things in the bible in the bible you're not supposed to do 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 things and and nasty things in the mouth in certain parts of the house believe that that's i might have to bible jargonauts help me out here we're going to keep moving forward when we are aware that even if you know I'm not gonna lie you meet a Satan worshiper where they live they want to be able to live 
to hell scene another day. Okay? Yeah. Okay? When it's inside the house, that's a parenting issue that developed into sloth. And sloth doesn't make any of the other sins. You're not lustful or envious or greedy. You feel all those wonderful Christian feelings like appreciation for what you have. You feel blessed that when you leave that environment, you have that healthy space that you can go to and not worry about getting sick. When you realize that there are people who, whether they drink alcohol or are sober, the lifestyle that has been allowed to per perpetuate in their lives, it does make for some very unhealthy and uncomfortable situations for people. There are people that don't ever see that their life is better than that. They don't feel that they deserve or are worth more than that. Whether that person has done something wrong to me illegally or through the law or through other people, I, I'm not going to lie. I've not been given the factual paperwork to say that this person did this with these people for me to commit an act of malice. Like getting somebody sick with biohazard. Whether it's vomit, whether it's feces, whether it's tissues. From the nose, eyes, mouth, wherever. <sighs> I need my wipes and my hand sanitizer. What, what goes into our body? Do you realize that there are married couples out there that have a happy, healthy, fun lifestyle with each other, faithful as heck, fighting about infidelity because trichomonosis be it in one or both. And all they did was go tubing over the summer without their water shoes on and got a slick in the foot. And they both got trichomes from the river water. Fighting. <laughs> you cheating Yep. Over something that our fresh water river. Good timing. God, my wife is beautiful in her bathing suit. Oh my God, my husband, he's so sexy with his belly in the cooler. Oh, look, he's going to help the baby flip her, you know, her little water dinghy over. Good timing, people that love the hell out of each other fighting. Because they go to the damn doctor's office and like, trichomonosis. You have a yeast infection and trichomonosis. What the? Mm hmm. The way we have tended the planet that we've got right now, it wouldn't matter if Beelzebub himself magically <laughs> appeared in front of my car to have a midnight mingo tango with me. Because we ourselves, through sloth and lack of care for the universes that we create, We're ruining marriages just for being happy, healthy, loving people. Stop it. Stop it. Many of us don't get to actually have a happy, healthy relationship. So when you see that there are two people and their, their marriage has a huge bump in it, I mean, you can have a drunk driving accident or a drunk driving charge that happens and there's a financial stress that leads into something and then you find out a health issue and it's like, oh, so because you was out drinking with the boys, problems can happen that way. I pray every day that I, I leave an impression, an inspiration on the planet that's unlike any others. Because from the time I was born till the time I realized that I was born handicapped. I knew I was going to be limited and I needed to make it fucking count.